In this video, I want to give a brief overview on the Eternium quest system. Um, so there are a lot of quests in the game. We can basically break them down into three types. So there are story quests, side quests and daily quests. Uh, main story quests are typically given by Alarion over in the hometown. Um, and side quests would be given usually by some of the any of these NPCs around the edge of the hometown. Let's move back here. A new quest that becomes available for you, if it's a story or a side quest, then the NPC that has that to give to you. Uh, they'll be identified by having a yellow exclamation mark above their name. I don't have any to show you at the moment. Um, and you'll just talk to them, click on the quest, go through the details that shows on screen and click collect. Once that quest has been collected, as we've got an example here, the icon will turn into a white uh, question mark. Um, you can then go out into the world, complete the quest, when you come back uh, and the quest is ready to turn in, uh, it will be showing above the relevant NPC as a yellow question mark. Um, story and side quests, they're only offered once, uh, so you can only collect them and complete them one time only. Um, typically you'll do this when you're playing through in normal mode so that by the time you come to unlock hard mode and legendary modes you'll have already completed the quests in normal mode and therefore no new quests are offered when you go through those additional playthroughs. But that doesn't mean that's the end of quests for you. Um, as I mentioned at the start, there are daily quests as well. Now, daily quests become available once you complete the story quests for a given world. Uh, so you'll get one daily quest given when you complete world one. A second daily quest is added when you complete world two. A third daily quest is added when you complete World 3 and two daily quests are added when you complete World 4, giving you a grand total of five daily quests. Um, when an NPC has a daily quest to offer, it will appear as a blue exclamation mark above their name. So story and side quests are yellow, uh, dailies are blue. Once that quest is accepted, it will be like a normal story mode um, quest. It will turn into a white question mark. And then when it's ready to be turned in, uh, it will be a blue question mark as opposed to a yellow one. The daily quests are typically drawn from a of different quests so you might not see the same quests every day um, assuming you've got all five worlds or all five quests unlocked then typically you will see one quest on world 2 one quest on world 3 two quests on world 4 and the final quest might take place on world one or it might be a task like kill 50 archers or 100 enemies or something like that so uh, you'll with, with all five quests it's always one on world two one on world three two on world four and then one that could be anywhere or completed anywhere Rewards for daily quests will scale depending on your character level. Um, so here at level 35, uh, 20 gems for completing a daily quest. Uh, this is fixed, so 20 gems no matter what level you are. 
Uh, gold, 2,500 at level 35. This increases to a maximum of 10,000 at level 70 uh, and 50,000 experience points at level 35. That increases to a maximum of 200,000 at level 70. And finally, I think the quests, you can complete them in any difficulty mode that you want. So you just need to bear in mind that uh, you can only play them on the maps that you've unlocked. So if you've got a quest for, let's say, Morgenheim and World 4, you will only be able to play it on the version of Morgenheim that's unlocked. So if you've only unlocked Morgenheim in normal mode then your daily quests can only be done in normal mode if you've done it in heroic or legendary you can choose whichever mode you want to use it in or complete it in um, so I think that covers everything I wanted to say about quests if you've got any questions or suggestions feel free to put them down in the comments section down below and I shall answer you there Thank you very much for watching.